Hello, hello, namaste, namaste. I'm Daisy Rani Subaya and I'm reviewing Tribham, which has released on Netflix. You know, guys, I'm learning a lot. I mean, I'm learning a lot of abuses every time I watch a Hindi film on the OTT platform. And this time it is... Sorry, sorry, can't say it here. You've got to watch the film and learn for yourself. Ajay Devgan said in an interview, Tribhang definitely marks the start of our relationship with Netflix. It also makes the linguistic entry of Kajol into the OTT bandwagon with the foul mouthing of every word. Tribhang, Deri Meri Crazy, a reference to the classic slanting prose in Odyssey dance, is a story about women by a woman, Renuka Shahani. Memorable for her role in Hum Aapke Hai Kaun and a perfect Marathi style dancing. Lo chali me, apne devar ki ke. Remember? It's perhaps her roots, which is why the dialogues in Marathi and Kajol's grandmother's Maharashtrian household come across as the most authentic. But it is not just about the three women, Tanvi Azmi as Nayan. Kajol as Anuradha and Mithila Palkar as Masha Do. It is also about Nayan's mother-in-law from hell who kickstarts the whole dysfunctional family and of Anuradha's teacher from hell. Hey Bhagwan, if teachers are like her, I would homeschool my kids. Among these women, of course, it's Kajol who grabs you by the eyeballs and the ears. She's an Odissi dancer who doesn't dance a single step. She's wonderful and gives us her 200%, reminds one of her old movies. Very nice to watch. Very, very nice to the eyes. The supporting men's roles are by Vaibhav Takvavadi, the beautiful eyed brother who has taken up sannyas at Lord Krishna's feet. There's Mana Gohil as a pacifist partner of Kajal and Kavalji as an affable father figure. And of course, there's Kunal Roy Kapoor as Milan, the writer of Nayan's book, it's interesting, you know, to see his, see this filth-spouting character from Bandish Bandit in a 360-degree role reversal as a Shuddha Hindi-speaking goody two-shoes. It's a tad bland. The plot is a story about three generations of women who veer towards diametrically opposite paths in life, thus overcompensating for what they found lacking in their own mothers. It's about the choices that you make in life and their consequences. In fact, staying true to real life, it is all the women who are the women's worst enemies rather than all the men. There is definitely a woman's touch in Shahani's writing and direction. However, she hasn't vilified nor put on a pedestal all men and women, nor does she come across as judgmental. Even the sacrifices the women make Rejecting individuality in an orthodox family like Masha does. Or rejecting a conventional life as Anuradha. Or putting her passion for writing about all else as does Nayan are all their own choices. And that is what makes Renuka Shahane's Tribhang very, very, but not crazy. So, as a woman, how many laddus do I give this film? I give this film three letters. <laughs> if you like the review, if you agree with it, do press like and remember to subscribe to Connected to India. Namaste, namaste. Thank you. Enjoy.